Hi, in this final training video, uh, we are going to be having a look at the various Facebook strategies uh, that you can have that you can implement into your business uh, in order to you know, create more of a following, etc, etc. Okay, and it's, it's incredible stuff, okay, how you can generate leads for your business. Okay. So you want to be out and about, you want to be out and about connecting, uh, but, but how do you generate a lead for your business? You know, how do you get someone interested in what you do? Um, how do you capture their email address or, or get a sale? Important thing to note about trying to you know, sell and, and market yourself online that is that it normally takes five to seven, between five and seven interactions online for someone to buy something off you. Okay, so yes, the aim is to monetize it in the long run, okay, but it's to create the relationship first, okay. And how do you create a relationship? That's by connecting and contacting people and have those people do the same to you. Okay, we'll also have a quick look at hashtags and a quick look at tagging people and how that's beneficial to your business as well. So we went through last time about liking pages, liking um, other people's comments on pages, commenting on people like Brendan Bashar's post, Tony Robbins's post, okay, and and sharing some material, okay, to to groups. Now, when you're doing this yourself, it's important to remember a couple of things, okay, and these couple of things are as follows. I'm going to type as I talk, by the way. So the important thing to remember is in the morning, okay, in the morning, you want to make people smile. Okay, so if you've got personal development stuff, uh, or you've got a beautiful sunrise or something like that, okay, you want to make people smile. Okay, in the afternoon or lunchtime and so forth, you want to what we call edge yourself. Okay, so if you've got a a product or something that has that has you know fantastic benefits and and whatever, you can find a news article and you can put that on your Facebook. Okay, it engages people, engage people. Okay, write something mm. like comment below or this or that. Okay, so engage with people, edge yourself something. Okay, so you're not you're not going for full sale. You're just basically saying you know how can I provide information and add value okay find value adding articles even if it's from like the entrepreneur.com or whatever find an article get people to engage okay you can't go wrong with that in the evening you look to sell okay but not necessarily all evening not all evenings okay why because you're trying to create your reputation, you're trying to create yourself as a brand, okay? People, you know, want to be able to trust you first, want to be able to know who you are, okay? So you have that reputation, you have that connection, okay? So not every evening, you're not looking, you know, sell, 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 okay? Ideally, you want to make people smile between, uh, I'd say about nine and, tw- well, maybe a bit earlier if you're commuting, between nine and 12, so seven and twelve. Edge is selling. Again, you'd be looking anywhere between eleven and about four o'clock is about right. Okay, and evenings about well, any time between you know four. You know, and, and maybe ten o'clock. Okay. Also, bear in mind your audience. If a lot of people are in the states, you know those times work out about right, especially if you post it at 10 o'clock in the evening. Okay, so they're the rough things that you want to do, okay? Now the the aim is to be consistent, okay? So again, in that half an hour in the morning that you're liking and commenting and sharing stuff on other people's pages, you know, you want to be, you know, doing your own morning post, okay? Stuff like that, get people engaging, okay? And over time with consistent effort, People, a lot more people are going to notice you because the more you're on Facebook, what Facebook does, one of its things is the more it knows that you're on Facebook, okay, communicating with people, the more exposure your stuff gets, okay. So consistent effort, you'll get exposure, 
and that will snowball after a while okay I'm just going to my Facebook here okay so we know how to we know how to like other people's pages we know how to comment we know how to share stuff okay and that can again that can very simply be what you do okay on your profile one key thing that you can do as well is to tag people and you know put emotions in there and how you're feeling and all that sort of stuff and that could be useful so let me give you an example so hello everybody what a great day looking forward to a mastermind session with okay now you can see my message there so I'm going to tag someone okay or not even tag them I can you know add them in okay so what you would do on your computer you get the at sign okay and then type in okay, you can tell you could, this could be a person this could be a page so for example you could say I've, uh, just use Bianca as an example there and what will happen the great thing is once you post this okay Bianca will get a notification that she's been tagged in your post again if you're talking to someone specific recommend it if you're with someone yeah recommend it or you can you know, easily do that for a page or anything okay so you, know, you could just do Tony Robbins okay the amount of people that are going to see that is going to be pretty big if assuming the post gets approved and he's got public settings on his page okay this is what you can do you can also manually tag people so you can go I am with or when you tag people okay you can only tag people that you're friends with okay with the app sign here okay it could be absolutely anyone okay it could be anything and anyone as you can see here okay and that's it's quite powerful stuff you can also add a feeling again you could say oh, I don't know I'm feeling happy okay you can check into a location if you really wanted to so if you're at an event you're at a networking event or somewhere like that you know check yourself in so for example I could check my you could, again you could check yourself in anywhere now, these are some recent ones for myself I'm not in London at the moment but you can you know check yourself in at the London Eye so you're feeling happy you're at the London Eye again I'll use Bianca as an example so you can see here you know you're feeling happy you're with Bianca and you're at the London Eye okay obviously what you want to do here you want to try and get as much interaction as possible okay the key thing on on Facebook is to make sure that it's not coming across as being computerized okay you want to yeah, you want to make sure you're out there, you're living your life, okay, and you're being you. But you've got all these little extra aspects that people don't think of when they're posting. Okay, so say, put a feeling in there. Put you, that you're with someone if you're with someone. Tag yourself into a place, okay. If you, or if you've got a general comment for Tony Robbins, you know, again, you just use the at sign at Tony Robbins and, and say something, okay. You can hashtag on Facebook. Okay, so you can maybe put hashtag happy. Okay, hashtagging is becoming more popular on Facebook, but it's more something that's used on Twitter. Okay, I personally wouldn't recommend that. I just stick with the tagging people. I say like Tony Robbins, put the and sign in, Tony Robbins. Okay, adding your own emotions in, you know, feeling happy, tagging someone if you're with someone, mm -hmm. and you know put in a, a location if you're in a location okay you can also add a photo again you can go on photo upload photos etc etc um, so yeah I was at the Olympic Stadium with my brother a while ago in Germany okay so you'll see your photo will upload there okay I'm not going to post that because that, that's not congruent at all. I'm not doing any of those things right now. 
okay but they, they are the things that you can do and the more you're doing that the more you're tagging people the more you're out there living your life okay the more interaction you're going to get the one thing i will say is when you're doing it okay not you don't have to do a call to action every time okay but for example for this one here this photo of the um olympia stadium in berlin you know i might just put down uh, having a great time here etc etc um what's your favorite building a uh, comment below or something like that you don't have to do it every time but if you do have a call to action it's useful very very useful okay so all these things can be used and they are in incredibly incredibly powerful okay so i'm going to leave that page as well so that's on your personal profile now if you go to your training page however okay you can do in you can do similar things you can do the exact same things on your training page uh so on your uh facebook page sorry and what you can do if you click in publishing tools at the top okay and this is absolutely brilliant because what you can do what you can see here is publish post schedule posts so what you can do is you can create a post and have it scheduled for a particular time on your facebook page okay so if we were just to put um, let's create the same thing that we've done in the last one so let's have the photo of the olympic stadium okay let's just say having fun in berlin at the olympia olympia stadium what is your favorite stadium comment below okay you can also put in a feeling so how am i feeling i can say i'm feeling proud okay check in you can see here you can you know just search for the venue you can tag you can check yourself in at the olympia stadium berlin okay uh, i say i was with my brother but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tag him in this as such but the genius thing you can do on your page is to follow him so instead of publishing it straight away you click on this blue this blue button here and you can schedule this post okay so i can schedule this for any day any time any place okay normally facebook runs it up to six months in advance to be perfectly honest but i don't see why you'd be posting that far in advance okay so for example this post here it's the 14th of december 2016. Um, i will click on the 15th type in a time okay and voila you can schedule it okay and that's incredible now facebook will literally schedule that okay now i talked about congruency obviously with a post like this when you're commenting that you're actually somewhere at that time you know i'd make sure you're there at that time um but if we just ran a different post so again what you might do is you might just have we come out of that first then we're going to create again okay i might have a photo or video I can upload a photo or video and we're just going to here okay so we can just pick this one here okay so inspirational things is make have an amazing day i'm just right having an amazing day everybody okay and again you can schedule that and you can do that for say eight o'clock in the morning and you can schedule that for this say the 20th of december for fun okay so that's what you can do and that's the amazing thing about having this on a facebook page okay <clears throat> and again what you can do you know a half hour a week or so sit down on a sunday find these photos you can go into google type in royalty free images 
and that way you, you know you can't get done for using these photos and you can create these posts and you can set them up on your page first thing in the morning okay so you can go on there you can set up you can find seven different like motivational quotes for example create a post via your page and you can set one up for each day of the week okay set them up at different times so have one at eight o'clock in the morning have one at 22 minutes past nine okay because you want to make sure that people don't think that what you're doing is robotic as well okay so little things like that and that would increase engagement that would increase you know the way of doing things okay so I hope you found that useful okay these are things that you can do and that's really it for Facebook to be perfectly honest with you that's a bit of a longer video this one we've covered Facebook pages we've covered personal profiles we've covered groups we've covered the settings in those groups pages and personal profiles as well we've just gone over strategies how to tag people um, you know the time frame um, the times that you should be looking to post certain things okay you know, what we'll do at a different time we'll go into more technical things like Facebook ads okay but okay, that's an overview of Facebook so I hope you found that useful if you've got any questions okay, get in contact with me on my Facebook page or send me a personal message okay Rob Smallbone just find me on Facebook and just send me a, a message